<clears throat> hey guys so my purpose is to find techniques of healing which doesn't cost money and they really work so you can grasp your life back you know a lot of people are hurting themselves every day they can be active the way they want to to sports to family uh, activities and um, for fun you know a lot of things um, end when your health is over yeah so if you're not healthy most like it most stuff around you is not gonna be good for you yeah so I got up this morning and I have this side of my leg it's a little more tight than the other side of my leg, so I'm gonna go and just do some topping. This is a heavy knife, you know, it's pretty thick, but you can use anything you find, you grasp around your house, you know, a piece of wood or a piece of metal, whatever. So I'm just tapping and see what's happening. There's a lot of energy which gets stuck, you know, it's very energetic because the energy gets stuck, whatever the body, it's like a mix between the, the, the matter and the energy, yeah? So where the matter, it's a little dysfunctional, the energy gets stuck, yeah, something like that. I can even see the coloration and through my pants and the energy gets released, like a certain kind of sweat to say, yeah? So I'm rebuilding my body. I'm trying to let go to all the muscles <clears throat> what I built through bodybuilding and through years and make new ones, new, fresh, uh, more flexible, um, more fast, more endurance. You know, that's the thing right now. Because uh, seems like this world is based on power but the power collapses when there's no flexibility and endurance you have power but then in one hour you out <clears throat> if you have to do some test you know and then when you go against the nature you can see you sometimes you cannot take a break you have to keep going the rain is coming you're on top of the mountain or you have to make it you got no more food or water or you just want to challenge yourself yeah so there you go, just tapping, tapping, maybe going a little a higher on the leg. So this is, as a master teacher, I have to do what I preach, you know. And I'm super confident because I do what I preach. That's why I call myself a master teacher. Some people say, what kind of master, da, 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 you know, they, those are the egoistic ones, the ones that like, they don't believe somebody who they know can become a master you know I truly believe anybody is a master if he devotes his time to it so I've been doing this for about eight years back and forth you know with some short little breaks because the life didn't allow me to do as much as I want but it was a battle and I have to do a lot of sacrifices to do this I give up my job I give up my belongings my cars my friends just to do this so i can heal myself and then i know in the transition it's a little harder but then i'll make new friends because now i'm a master teacher i'm somebody else you know i'm not nico the dancer or nico the fitness trainer or nico the <clears throat> the model you know Well, whatever Nico I used to be before, I'm not that anymore. Now I'm Nico Master Teacher, and I'm not ashamed or going around the block to tell you that's why I leave. I leave this life, try to get healthy. And let's say you're going forward in life one year, yeah, you're 30 or whatever, 40, and now you're 41. With 41, you're certain uh, progressing and feeling better than you in your 40. So not just you're not aging going 41, you are going backwards, getting more healthier, yeah? So you're 41, now you're feeling like 39, 
you're 42, you're feeling like 38, you're 43, so kind of like that, you know, because you're stopping the aging and also you are re-aging. So they see it's two years and one year. The one year you're getting old and then the one year you're taking off. So it's two years, every year you're winning two years. It's kind of like that it works, you know. I mean, you can even do more, but then you have to really kind of give up everything. Like, I feel like I'm doing more than that um, because I started around 33, this kind of philosophy, where I'm turning inwards and my techniques are 100% different than before, which was more like, let's build muscles and let's build power and stuff like that I always work on like uh, flexibility and stuff like that but I didn't know how the proper way you know I try to use this western world too much philosophy from the western world yeah And you look at an old person and you think in your mind, oh, there's no way nobody can make this person young again. But it's not really like that. If that person will do 100% what I'm telling him, every year you will re-age one year. So not just he will not get older than he is, you will go backwards. But it, sometimes you might have to come and be underneath of my wing. And like a devotee, you really have to to give up your life, you know, and try something new. Like, you know, when you try to go to college to be successful, or you try to go to a, a sport to be successful, and then that fell. Like, you feel like you did so much uh, study, and you still have a job that you're not satisfied with. But you try it, yeah? You give yourself so many years to school, and give it, then you have to give yourself some time for this, too. It's not going to happen overnight either because it's a lot of things in the mind. The mind blocks a lot of stuff. And the body too. And then our, our patterns of food and eat and sleep and how we spend our time and how much time people spend just do nothing, sitting down in the bars, watching TV, blah, 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 do nothing really to... They're going straight to the grave, somebody said, you know. I want to feel good. I want to explore some... Um, beautiful places in this world that's my only call I guess for now I do want to see the world and her beauty but I don't want to walk around and from the window of my car to watch it from there and walk around just on the sidewalks on the streets and that's not the world I want to see I want to see the world where people didn't go so much what is still pure and natural, yeah? So this is it from this video. I'm going to keep going. You're going up and down the leg and you get to keep tapping, tapping, bringing blood there. Distressing. This is not exercising. This is distressing because you exercise or you didn't exercise and the muscle got blocked and clogged and whatever, yeah? I love myself.